dangerous conditions out on some parts of the freeways this morning. That's right. When we come in, it's dark, so it's really tough yeah. to gauge how deep that water is. So just be careful and any doubt at all, you just turn around. We know that. All right, we're going to continue to watch the waters try to recede. Unfortunately, we're going to add more to it with scattered showers this morning. Now the line of very heavy rain is pushing northward, so we saw it almost stagnant over the same areas for hours last night, two to five inches in those areas. Now the active pattern continues into next week, so we're looking at more rain following the weekend into next week and very warm and muggy conditions too, 80s and just sticky here as we go through the next several days. So looking at the flood watch until 4 a.m. tomorrow morning, that's for all of us. We have a flood warning until noon for Washtenaw, Wayne County. Again, the target areas that got that two to five inches of rain overnight and then a flash flood watch back to the south, just lining the Ohio border. So we're going to continue to watch this unfold. Now again, some of the heavy rain now moving into Sanilac, northern St. Clair County with lighter rain now sitting over northern Oakland County and then passing just north of Washtenaw. So we're seeing it lifting to the north, but there's just a lot lined up. We have a ton of moisture to work with. A lot of people asking why are we getting all this rain? We're in a very stagnant weather pattern. We have a trough of low pressure to the west. We have high pressure to the east and all of the moisture feeding up from the Gulf and nothing changing here in the coming days. So just count on rounds of rain and some of that very heavy rain too with this stagnant pattern. So with that said, not only the heavy rain, but the risk for severe weather, especially after about 2 o'clock. The time frame looks to be 2 to 10, and we'll watch for damaging wind gusts, isolated tornado threat, and large hail. It looks to be a little more prevalent, a little further west, so the cutoff from Ann Arbor up toward uh, Pontiac and points west. Doesn't mean you're completely out of the woods the further east you are. It's just a little better chance further west. Now, temperatures this morning we're in the 70s, so we're already very warm. We're at 73 degrees right now in Detroit, 73 in Ann Arbor, 74 degrees Monroe. Warm, but really muggy. We're going to feel this high humidity today, tomorrow, extending into Monday. Our dew points for most areas in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees. When we see that, we almost call it a tropical feel to the air. It doesn't get a whole lot higher than this year with dew points in the low 70s. We see low, maybe mid 70s in worst case scenarios as far as how humid it is. But we're topping off, kind of uh, peaking, so to speak. But here's our hour by hour forecast. We go through the morning. The good news is I think we get a bit of a break from the widespread stuff. So scattered rain showers, they're still in the mix. Don't count it out for the morning. Just sort of plan around it for your morning activities. We get to 1, 2 o'clock, and these are the storms we're going to have to watch. These may be packing a punch, not only bringing down more heavy rain, but watching for those damaging wind gusts. You can see it continuing. This is 7 o'clock this evening. So the evening, the late afternoon, evening seems to be the time frame. A little break overnight again, redeveloping scattered rain showers tomorrow. Tomorrow, fortunately, doesn't look quite as heavy. But what we're facing today through tonight could see 1 to 2 inches, again, in that slight risk with heavier thunderstorms and about a half inch to maybe an inch to the east. But highs today, low 80s. We're going to still stay warm tonight in the low 70s. And look at that, even hotter, still just as humid for Sunday and Monday.